Hello and welcome back. It's Naomi Vela O and I want to make a dandelion art piece. I'm thinking of like a dandelion with a mouse holding it and blowing um, the little flowerettes, I guess, from the little white puff ball in the wind. Um, <clears throat> let's see, that's a book page. Let's get out of there. So I was inspired because I did a little YouTube short. I'll link it down below. But it, the YouTube short was just on, you know, looking at a dandelion and um, seeing how detailed a dandelion is and noticing that you are more important to God than the dandelion. And then I did a nice little prayer and um, I thought, oh my gosh, that dandelion is so beautiful. I'm going to do a little art piece. And I think I'm just going to make like your standard um, eight and a half. Where do I have it? Eight and a half by, yeah, where's my eight and a half by 11? I'm shocked. Eight and a half by 11. Nope. Oh, okay. We'll make one. Eight and a half, and we'll do inches. So it's 8.5 by 11. Whoops. 8.5 by 11 inches. DPI 300, so that gives me 75 layers. And I will title this um, 8.5. Um, mm, 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 by 11 inches. Okay, so now I've got my canvas. <clears throat> let's see, there it is. And let's just do, um, I like the white background. Actually, let's give some color. This is just my 6B pencil. You know what? I think I'm going to take that away. I'm going to do quall because I just love this quall brush. We're going to open it up a little bit bigger. Look at that. Very painterly. Just one of my favorite brushes. And then I can do some specks of different colors. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? The harder I hit, the bigger it is. This is just, this is my newly discovered style. So then I take the, um, what is this tool? This tool right here, the finger, the smudge. I don't know why I can't think of it. The smudge tool. And it's still under qual. My favorite brush, as you guys know. And I'm going to go ahead and um, change some of these edges in my grass. Lighten it. This makes it more random which I like that, so it doesn't look like a brush. And if I really want more space in an area, then I can do that. And I like all these like specks elsewhere, so there's that. Okay, now I'm going to do another layer underneath it. Come on. Sometimes you have to get your finger in there. And I'm going to do this one a nice sunny yellow okay. and I have my qual oops let's bring that all the way up and let's do this look at how beautiful that is this is underneath so it's okay if it I just Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. And I don't want to actually, um, I don't want to use my, um, <laughs> my finger. What is that thing called? Smudge tool. I don't want to use that. So I do, however, want to add a layer on top because I want to do some streaks of like blue. Like over here. Just, and then that, I will disperse a little bit. So it's just a light streak. 
and then actually let me just kind of merge it. Maybe I'll do the pencil for that. Okay. There we go. Soften that up. Sometimes you have to play around to see what kind of look you want. That's the look I want. Okay. Perfect. That's beautiful. Okay, so I am going to merge my layers. Very happy with it. Merge it all down. Now that's the background. Let's rename it. Back. Ground. Okay. Now, I like my color background, so I'm going to go back to white. Get my pencil out. And then we're going to do the dandelion. I've got a picture of it up on my computer. Dandelion with some leaves. Let's see. We're going to do a dandelion here, a dandelion here. Um, just two maybe. Two dandelions really is all that I need. We're going to do that. Let's do another one right. Let's do one over here. Actually, I think I might move this whole. This is on a new layer, right? Yep. Let's just move this down a little bit. Yeah, because I want my mouse right here. And we will do the mouse holding, let's see, he's going to have two big ears, he's going to have that, big nose, and he's going to be holding Just a very simple little mouse. There we go. And then he's going to have a tail like that. Okay. That gives me an idea. And I like to have them, my characters or elements, however you like to call them. When I refer to elements, it's what's on my art pages. And... And then this way I can cut him and move around. And he's going to be holding... Hmm. Well, I'm going to have to do this. Because he's going to be actually holding one like that. Okay, and then we've got... These are the leaves. Show you how I do it. It's okay that it doesn't look like a leaf right now because I'm going to show you how I create my little art. It's another leaf behind it. There's a lot going on on this page, but you'll see. It'll make sense eventually. That's going to be a flower. And this is going to be a flower. Like that. Another flower. This is all going to be greenery. And then the words are going to be up here. Okay. This is where the magic happens. So I'm on the single background white layer. Mm, no, I don't want to merge them. Okay. And I'm going to use my qual brush. And I'm going to lower it down. Because I want 
to loosen up those edges on my mouse. On basically everything actually. I like it to be very artistically done. Like not so much slapped together, but definitely definitely looking artistic. Okay. This is how I make the magic happen. Okay, that's... Hmm. Got too much going there. Okay. So I'll add more white if it just gets too spread out, which it can because this brush is very random, which is why I like it. So I'm definitely not complaining. Okay, all these are flowers and leaves. I think I have all the leaves on one background layer. And then these guys. Yeah. I won't be able to really move them around too much, which which is okay because of the layering. All right, perfect. I like that. I might add just a little bit more white where there's a little bit of holes because it's the edges that I want. I definitely want the white background still. Okay. Now I'm gonna I think I'm just gonna merge all this. Yep. And then I'm gonna lock it. And then okay, so the mouse kind of want a cute little Kind of a yellowy gray. Let me see. Yep, I like that yellowy gray mouse. No. Okay, let's do a soft gray. And I can lighten it up with Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay. He is adorable. Love him. Okay, he's perfect. This little mouse is so perfect. <clears throat> I, though, I think I'm going to have to lock him and add another layer because I want these. So these dandelions kind of have a green-yellow center. And he's blowing on this one. That's a little dark. And then I think I have, I think I have, no, that's the flower. And then I think I have a 
flower here as well, don't I? I think I have another dandelion here. Okay, so let's give these a little bit of artistic flair. Look at that, gorgeous. Just, oh my gosh. Let me hold this still for you. Okay. All right, so, and then we have, I think, little bit, little like touches of um, green. I probably should try a little bit smaller. I can always do that over if it doesn't look right. That's, oh, uh, you know what, yep. Okay, let's do this. The smaller dots look way better. Like, I don't even have to touch them. Okay. These are the stems of the little puff balls. Nice. So this is still just the six B pencil. Cute. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this. All right. Okay, now we're going to do that. Cool. We're going to like just lightly move it around so they don't look quite like dots. See how much softer that is? Okay. See how it just randomly spreads stuff out? Got to try and move and work it. You don't have full control, which is partly something that I like about it. Okay, now we're going to, um, let me do all white. Okay, and this is going to be 6B pencil, very tiny because Well, it might be too tiny. There we go. Oh my gosh, that's cute. So cute. Okay. Look at 
at those. They're so adorable. Okay, I think what I am missing, though, are the little, like, tan, like, brown dots. Kind of like right here. Yep, there we go. Then I'll add some more dots on top. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Why am I whispering? Trying to talk to you guys and I'm whispering. Look at how beautiful that looks. My. Try not to get it too bright for me. Let's see. Alright. Love it. Okay, that just looks great. All right, so we're going to have to make those a little bigger. These little tufts need to be actually here. Let's do this. I think I need to clean around. Unlock. I need to clean around There we go. Okay, lock that again. Let's get back over here to these tufts. And there we go. I still think I need to get rid of some of this. Perfect. Okay. Oh my gosh, that I love. that one again, get back up over here, and I'm on the right brush, okay, now look at this, That's so cute. It's 
So if you look up close, it looks they look a little concave, some of these little flyaways. That's so cute. Okay. Those are just freaking adorable. I am loving them. I'll get them on the computer and look at them in a bigger uh, format, like on the screen. It's a bigger screen than, than the iPad, which is, I think, I don't know, 10 inch by nine and a half inch or something like that, like a big book size. I wanted some more. Perfect. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I love when they come out perfect. Okay. It's just so gorgeous. Yes, I know I have to do the the stem still, but that's okay. I'm getting there. So this one, he's like blowing it. So it's like... The mouse is, when I say he, the little mouse is like blowing on it. Oh my gosh, those guys are so cute. Okay, so we are going to lower, merge down the tufts. I'm not going to... Let me do tough. Let me do rename tufts. They're the top of the dandelions. And now, um, let me get back over to this mouse. And I want to add, am I already on white? Let me do white, white. Mm, maybe not. Let me do some gray. This is just shadow right here.
in this one. Okay. Now, let me see. This needs to be very tiny. Because I'm just going to soften it a little bit. See, like that. Let me hold this. And this is on its own layer, so... Cute. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, that mouse is a freaking adorable. Okay. So, I don't want to merge it, but I do want to group the mouse. Rename mouse. And then I'm going to go ahead and start um, working on the plants, which I want a beautiful green, like not too deep. Let's see. Okay. Oh, I like that. All right, these are going to be I like it to be just wild looking plants. I'm going to do a different color underneath that. And I think this was going to be another daisy. 
So we, oops, where did my green go? There it is. All right. That's going to be another flower. And then these guys. Actually, I don't like the way that one looks. Look at how wild that looks, but they're so cute. Okay. And we've got another one here. You're coming down here. Actually, that did not look right. I was out in the yard and I could see how wild these looked. Like they didn't really look like they were really organized because they were so packed. My backyard was packed, wild packed. Now, watch this. Okay, I think I want to do... Okay, now we're going to do the smudge tool. And we are going to, let's see. Then we're going to do a lighter color underneath and on top. We're going to do underneath first and then adjust. Because I want it to look like leaves, but I want it to be a little bit more artistic. Like a little bit more random and see how so if it brings it out too far I usually can just do a little bit of a side and get it to go back into into place I think I might do some grass down here Before I forget, let me do some grass. Okay. I don't want it to be 
too obvious. Look at that. That looked great. And I can do a brighter green underneath. That's going to look totally fabulous. You'll see. Watch. I'm almost done. You know what? I need to make these a little bit It looks a little messy, but it's not going to. I promise you that. It's going to look lovely. That's the whole point. I think before I do the leaves, I want to do two sunny flowers. One right here. Um, one right here. Two little ones right here and one right there. So we're going to um, add a layer here and get that beautiful yellow, sunny yellow. They're really kind of a deep yellow. How I can do this better is by going like that, like that. Yes, that's it. Okay. And I have another one here. Now you can see why I need the white behind it. Let me see how that looks if I move it up. Yeah, that's not bad. All right. Okay. Where's the other one? Was it here? No, it was here. The white has to go underneath here. Beautiful. Okay. Now, let's start over here. Let's do this. We are going to do the white underneath just a little bit. Because there's already white underneath, doesn't need to really. And then we're going to do on top.
just a little bit like that okay and then we're going to add a layer and we're going to make it a little bit darker than that like that and we're going to do this Just like that. I don't think we need any more. All right, so I had a quick run out and handle something first. So where was I? Um, qual smudging. Just little bits. All right, and I think I want to, well, actually, that's not bad. I need to show, that's nice. And then I wanted to do, some orange. Light, uh, just a little bit, just to show the different. Cute, see? Look at that. That looks like a nice, well rounded flower. Okay, now let's see if I have them here. Yep, I think. Okay, so I can do this. And I think I could just do that there first. Kind of shows the background. And then let's go over here and grab this yellow. And then let's go back over here and grab this white. Sometimes it's easier just to do it that way. Only takes like a minute. I like that. That is lovely. Okay. Cute. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Now, okay, I got my flowers. I'm going to merge. Merge down, merge down. Name, flower. Okay. Now, okay, so we're going to do the background of these leaves. Let's go over here, add a layer. We want this to be... Let's do this. Let's go grab that green and then we're going to go a little bit higher and let's see how that works. Yes. Perfect. Look at how beautiful this green is. Now, if I were doing this traditionally, you can imagine how much longer it would take. So that is one of the things I love about digital. And I can give this texture. I'm not real good at it, but I'm going to give it a try at the end to make it look like a real canvas. I would absolutely love to do that. You know what? I didn't add leaves underneath these guys like I did these guys. 
but I like how clean they are, so I'm not going to do that. I was looking at them going, they look very open and fresh, and I like that. Again, this is not like real life, so... I don't think I want this to be, there we go, better, way better, whoops, okay. Just gorgeous, I'm going to go underneath there, make that darker. I think I might add some more yellow underneath just to brighten it up a little bit in spots. That is so cute. Okay, now I want to do beneath this, I want to do. some yellow. That's not yellow. How did I get? Here we go. See the yellow peeking through? That's what I like. And then I might Um, do some like little lines it's kind of an orangey yellow but that's okay because that's brighter but it's softer no that's pretty yellow okay oh my gosh I'm loving these guys okay so we want to make this bigger for the background yellow. Anything that's too much, I'll just go back and erase some of it. But this, I like this just sunniness of it. Look at that. Let's see what I'm saying. See what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, I think I need... See, now it becomes some bright yellows in the grass. Perfect. It's like finger painting. Like you're going to just make smudges all over. Sometimes I've changed the direction so that I can there we go like really push it a different direction gorgeous okay I like that that I like that yellow there I'm gonna soften this a little bit Perfect. Oh my gosh, I think. There we go. There we go. Better. Wow, I like that. Look at how cute that is. I like the white. Mm, should I add more? above the white hair. Here, I know what. Bring you all the way underneath. 
and then we'll do like a little bit of a different kind of green. Showing up. Oh, you have to go above here. That's clear. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. A little bit more green. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I am loving that. So cute. Okay, nice and very subtle. Okay, let's finish our mouse up. This is perfect. Okay, maybe not. I want... There we go. Yeah. Okay, now. I'm not going to flatten it yet. Because I want to work on the mouse. I need to get some eyes. Let's practice some eyes here. Big brown eyes, big black eyes. Let's do some big black eyes. Okay. Whoops, where's my pencil? All right, so. Cute. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Look at him, you guys. So cute. Okay. Perfect. I mean, literally just perfect. He's got his nose in there. We need a little white. Where's my white? Hello. Is that white as white can be? Yep, okay. Then we need to go... How about that? Yep, I like that better. Okay. We're also going to do that. Little white dot on his nose. And now I'm going to do, okay, he's done. We're going to add some little, just little tufts of, like that.
concentrating on my little mouse hairs here, sorry. Let's see, do I like the mouse hairs there? I don't know if I like these ones. Let's get rid of those. Should add some grays too, huh? Oops. You know what, I think I want to put some pink in these little ears. Let me do that. Mm -mm -mm. Let me do a soft pink. Oops. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay. Let me hold this so it doesn't jiggle too much. You guys, this is adorable. Because I'm more into my writing than my art, I actually don't post much art. And I try to do more writing, which hasn't been too successful. I'll show you that next. But oh my gosh, look at this. <gasps> Oh, I love this guy. I am absolutely in love with this guy. Okay, now, where is my, my, nope, not in there. Oh, here we go. Oh, and of course. Okay, so, here is my prayer. God loves you more than this little puff. Father in heaven, I thank you for this wonderful day. Okay, so I'm going to do a little daily prayer to enjoy the little things in life. That's what I'm going to do. And I will show you when I'm done how I pull it together. Actually, you know what? Let me, let me Before I turn that off, let me show you how I'm going to do that. Okay, I've got the tufts. We're going to put the mouse above the tufts. And we're going to add a layer because what I'm going to do is with my pencil, with my 6B pencil, I'm going to, let's see, I think I'm going to do, whoops, I need white, white. I think I'm going to just help me keep my lines straight. I guess I should have. Okay, there's one. There's two. Three. Four. All right. I'm going to lock that. Add another layer. Okay. So what I'm going to do is like... Like this. Well, it's going to be capitalized. It's going to be father. Like this. I'll just show you what I'm talking about with father. I'm going to have to figure out how to do it smaller. Well, I'll make it small, each word large, and then I'll make it smaller. Okay, so father, and then I'll add another layer on top. And here's where I kind of want to make it blue. 
That might be too deep blue. More like this. And then I'll go Not sure if that's going to work. I really like having it like that. Same. So it definitely looks like how I would draw it. In fact, here's a perfect example. See, right here. This is my little notebook of what I'm doing for my plan to take 30 days off in February or March of this year. I'm, I've got a new baby coming and I need to make a plan to take a month off. And so I did it in big bold letters, outlining it and then filling it in kind of haphazardly. That's how I want to do it here. And so this is just an example of how I'm going to show you how to do it or how I'm going to do it because I'm going to do it off camera. And then I'll show you the finished, the finished piece of artwork. Yeah. Oh, that's gorgeous. So gorgeous. Look at that. Let me get this light out of the way. So the prayer will be here. There's the mouse with the dandelion. And it's all bright and sunny in the background. And the flowers. I think what I'm going to do is like break this section up right here a little bit and um, like fix it because it looks a little jumbled but that's it so I will see you when I'm done all right everybody I'm back I am in Canva and I just uploaded I think I made what an eight and a half by 11 right so I uploaded the artwork after I got the words and everything um, correct, or how I liked it, I uploaded it into my Canva elements, and so I'm going to create a new design over here. Can you see that? At the top, let's see, where's my mouse? Can you even see that on there? I can't see it. Let me see, I'm trying to hold this steady. Okay, I think you can. Alright, so we're going to create new, and it's going to be 8.5, whoops, 8.5 by 11, and it's going to be inches, not pixels, and ugh, inches, 11, 8.5. Here's a little slow. Microsoft is just, their CPU is off the charts and out of control. And I've already done what I could for today, so give it a second. All right, let's go to my uploads. Uh, I'm going to manage cookies. I hate that cookie thing. Reject all. Close. And here's my artwork. Look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh, so cute, so bright and sunny. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to stop using Microsoft. That is so cute. So cute, look at that. You see that? Let me get up close. Heavenly Father, fill my heart with joy. Let me be grateful for the daisies among the weeds. Isn't that cute? Very simple little prayer in the morning. Oh my gosh, I think the colors, everything came out great. It's it's subtle, but you get the point. You see the little dandelions, you see the little mouse. Uh, the, the words are cute and like childlike. Very, very cute. I am going to print this out, put this on the wall. And yeah, that's it. If you want more details, let me know. I can do... 
um, something a little bit longer, but that's it. I'm going to save it and print it. I'll show you the print when it's all done.